Generic greetings and welcome to Airships Conquer the Skies once again. Today's beverage is... <sighs> that is Sparkling Fruit Crush. Essentially, it's just sort of mango and passion fruit mixed together and then made fizzy, but it is very, very tasty. Let's just go over to the uh, design and fight and load up the airship editor and show you the design that we made last, ep last, I'll say episode, last video. And it was the RAM version 1, then 2, and then naturally 3. And the objective was to make a vessel that was very cheap and would be able to ram through a static structure. Now, I didn't think it would work... <laughs> at all but it did it actually worked very very well until they managed to sort of you know mount three or four of them in one map and yeah then you sort of screwed because you have to go through one rather than over it and yeah, it had its place but and it was very fun but didn't entirely work so that's fine i mean what where did we go from here well actually nowhere because we've already made the well the bombard was all right the bot flight was not too bad the carrier was garbage the lancaster was just no, uh, and then we had the ant, which was funny, but um, it was mainly the bomber. The bomber is um, a very, very useful vessel, so we've got a high-level bomber, and we've also got the ram, and those two together could take out static structures, and I quite like them. I thought they were good, but but uh, what haven't we made so far? It is the building. If we've got a building editor and open design, you can see that the white lookout is its a fairly decent structure. It's under 2,000, and it's got many, many guns forward and back with some flak turrets pointing upward as well and obviously you can put out fires and stuff like that so it's very very decent but i haven't got one that we've made ourselves and that's what we want to do so we're going to be making one and the objective is to make it i don't know about a certain price i haven't really thought about a certain price involved in this one but i want to make it so that it's um, got more guns pointing one way than the other we're not just going to have it as like a pyramid with loads of guns but I also want to make sure that we can stop against boarding and take a hit and survive the fires that we're probably going to take and things like that. So let's just crack straight on into this one. So I'm going to go over to... I'm probably going to design it around the weapons first. I'm going to use the Imperial Cannon. Now, the Imperial Cannon is something that you can use as standard. As you can see, it does say Imperial Cannon, a preposterously large weapon. Single hit will destroy most smaller modules. And it is, after all, a very, very large gun. So we are going to use one of these, but... But we're going to supplement it with some cannon and we're probably going to have it so that it's um, like a bit of a weird shape. Like, I mean, it's something like that interests me for some reason. I don't know why because it's absolutely terrible dying in every way. But uh, we're going to stick with something like that and then we will have it going over the top. Actually, no, do we sort of do that? Something like that, maybe? Um, We could do that. Mm, that's not a terrible idea. Or is it? Or is it? How many guns have we got pointing forward? One, two, three, four, five, six cannons pointing forward plus the big one. And then I probably want a couple pointing back. But even then, that's a thousand already. So we're already uh, probably over what I would expect to uh, have. But probably, probably, actually, you know what I might do? I might do that. I might have this close to the ground. Although doing that means that the arc's not going to be very good. Although we are going to be lifting this up off the ground a little bit. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just have it like go straight down like that, I think. We can even do probably that, one, two, three, four, and then have it like a flat top and then go down. Yes, that's okay. And what we'll do is we'll jack this thing up by putting, um, probably putting the, probably the command and crew and stuff down there, like the barracks and the bridge. Um, actually, not even, uh, yeah, barracks, lots of barracks. So we could go for, say, one, two, three, four, like that. And that should be enough for, well, to, to well, keep everybody in here. That's not too bad. Okay, let's let's go with that. You have to have a start, so that's going to be ours. Now, we'll go over to resources and probably ammo store. Now, I'm probably going to put the ammo store um, further back than perhaps is necessary. But let's have it like that. I'm going to split them up, as you can see there. Then we'll put a couple of fire points in, um, probably there, and maybe on each floor like that. Do we need that? I mean, how much is... That costing us. It's only costing us a tiny bit, and that's fine. In terms of weight, it doesn't matter. We have fire extinguishers. We have... Um, oh, it requires a uh, bonus of fire extinguishers, though, so we can't use that one. Because that's uh, something we've set ourselves not to do. So that's fine. We need uh, corridors, so we'll run corridors straight across like so, and like so. And we obviously we've got a section there where we don't have anything, but we can just we can connect all these with corridors if we need to. This one I don't want. I'm going to put in there. In terms of command and crew, we got 
bridges, we've got cockpits, sick bay. We haven't got a sick bay, we'll put one of those in. And we could put a bridge in there, but a mm, bit, of, bit of a risky thing putting it there. We could put it underneath like that, and that would give us... Um, no, there's no access, that's the problem, there's no access in there. Okay. Okay, we'll have to have a ladder, something that has a ladder that goes up and down. Now we could use another... We could use some more ammo store, is that a good idea? Is that a good idea? Well, to mount that, yes, it might be. However, it also is probably going to explode very, very nicely. So perhaps that's something we want to avoid. I mean, in general it is, yes, but... Uh uh, yeah, I, th I think I think that's something we probably want to probably want to knock on the head actually. So we'll have that there, that there. You don't actually need access to these bottom bits, so I'm not really too bothered. So we've got that's the bridge, and that is a sick base. So we do know we do need these put in at some point. Uh, just depends on where. Now we could have them in here. So split those up and put say the sick bay in there, um, or rather the bridge is probably going to go in there because it's not really near anything that can explode. Um, we can have a sick bay. We need it probably about there, I would say. Like that, although we do need some access to that. So we could do that, and that gives access this way. That's fine. Problem is, it's a little bit too long. Um, current, where's it? Um, recommended crew is 30. We currently got 36. We're actually under crewed, so I'm going to shift that one and then put um, and put another couple in there, like. Like so. In terms of weapons on the top, we are going to go with flak all the way along the top there. So let's just crack on with that one. So we'll go to weapons and then scroll down to the flak turret. And we'll say one, two, three, four. And then we're going to have turrets. Uh, cannons flipped, rather. And have one... Um, actually, we'll get rid of that one there. It's probably a bit too long. One, two, three. And... Then it'll just come straight down. It'll just be whatever modules we we fit in here. So there's that, like so. It's currently one thousand. Uh, sorry, two thousand three hundred. If we can get this for, if we can get this for say under three grand, then I'll be quite happy about that. In terms of armor, we've got at the moment we've got I believe stone wall, stone wall. No, no, I have brick wall, stone wall. Yeah, it's stone. It is stone wall. Yes, we'll go with that one. Stone wall being two blast damage. Uh, three piercing brick wall being uh, well easily shattered by a grenade or cannonball, but able to take a few rifle rounds before crumbling. Um, yeah, we'll have that one. There's also a massive stone wall as well, which um, yeah, that does make it a little bit more expensive. So we'll go back with stone wall. Or we could say it's shell armor. Um, never actually seen that in game. <laughs> go with the stone wall there. Okay, so there's that for now. We've currently got enough air sailors. Well, apart from whatever we fit here, which we currently don't have any tasks. Uh, the reason I put this chamfron, by the way, is simply because I don't want it to be just a massive cube. And although it is at the moment just a massive cube, I'm trying to avoid that. Now, I would like to have some of those aircraft on there, but sadly, it's just not going to happen, is it? It really isn't. Command and crew, we've got that sorted. Haven't got a targeting computer. Resources, we haven't sorted that out there. None of this stuff. No, no, most of it we... We're sort of done with. Um, we might instead then make it just flat at the back, so just go straight down, um, like that. I mean, it's not not a terrible idea, I guess. Um, we we'll just have four cannon on the back, just in case they flank around, perhaps. Or we could do that and have that in there. Um, oh yeah, and you can go that way to get around, so it's not too bad. The only problem is, as you can see, we've got a huge space that really has uh, not much, not much. Um, purpose so what can I do what can I do machine shop that would be good to repair things that would be very very good actually and I don't have one okay we might go ahead and then lengthen it out a little bit you see that means we could do something like that and then we have better access okay that yeah that works out a little bit better okay we do need a we, we do need some cargo doors steel cargo door we can put a steel t cargo door in in there that's fine with decent access then we've got another bit where we don't really have anything in there another fire point i don't think we really need another fire point though do we <laughs> i don't think it's strictly necessary um 46 air sailors and it's recommending 48 yes it is so what i'll do is have a couple of bunks in there which do have access which means boom immediately look at that we now have access all over this place currently 2500 so that's not too bad if we go to overlays and got explosion damage we'll just turn that back off because we really don't want to see that 
And uh, no, let's just nope all of that. I'm going to actually put this cannon further forward and do that because it means I can actually put a, a crow's nest in here, which uh, will give us access to... Give access to the oh my good grief it is just a big brick isn't it that's all i've made i wanted to make it a slightly better shape and then look what happened oh dear oh dear anyway so that's in there um what else do we have i don't think we really need anything else so i guess it's just a case of figuring out something to go there i mean we could always just back it up and fill this with something else but that is a decent position for that so we've got don't really need good. We don't really need command ammo. Maybe okay. I don't know. Um, access is good, I believe. Overlays, pathing. Pathing is very, very good actually. Path when that blows up and then we don't have access up here and you have to go around. But I don't know what the solution that is. Would be move that back and then move that back and then actually have another walkway like so. That would be better just in case that blows up and then we'll just do that. Okay, let's just try that for a version one. For a version one, you have to start somewhere. So there's the armor brick big brick wall here brick wall um stone wall is a uh, stone wall we've got massive stone wall does require a bonus heavy steel armor apparently um steel wall is two dollars and reinforce and wooden armor is two steel wall is uh five and three and that's one and three steel wall is Steel wall is better than wooden armor, but it also weighs twice as much. Nope, my mistake. Steel wall is cheaper. Ah, but it doesn't have as much HP. So when it breaks... Yeah, okay. See, this is what people were mentioning in the last episode's comments. Steel wall. I think it was steel wall was saying it was better than wooden. And yeah, I think it is. Can absorb more. Weighs half as much. Only slight less HP. Same price. And there's comparisons that many people posted about uh, reinforced wooden armor versus the other stuff and the cost and benefit analysis, the entire thing, which I appreciate. Although, you know, the typical thing will always happen where you just get shot once and blow up twice. But anyway, um, we've got this thing here. We could even put it on legs if we so do so desire. Um, I don't know why you would ever do that. That seems to be... Although, actually, doing this means people don't really have as much access to it. But um, you know what? I'm not going to do that because um, I... Really don't want to do that. Although, remove module. Let's just remove all of that. There we go. Okay. So it's going to be called um, the. What on earth was our naming convention? GDS, G generic defensive structure. That's right. It's the turret. Because it does remind me of a turret. Like a tank one, like a KV a KV two or something. Well, apart from the chamfer, save down. Version one, save. Okay, let's try that out, shall we? Combat. Dawn is fine. Add building, turret version one. Hmm. Hang on. There we go. So put the turret back there, and we'll say, watch reverse. Um. <laughs> okay. Airship, RAM version 3, 1, 2, maybe not, move that, landship, no, airship, bomber, I'm a little bit overpointed, but it's about right, okay, let's start that up, so, immediately as you can see, fire's going out, I ideally want to put this on aimed fire, because that cannon does require it. Um, as you can see, the bomber is coming up ahead there. And it's, well, it's trying to drop its payload. And this is going to hurt. Boom, bang, 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 bang. Immediately, if we go outside, look at that. The huge amount of damage on the front there. The bomber's very, very powerful. Although we are hitting them quite hard. The ram vessel is just not doing anything at all. So, yeah, that's a problem. We have lost some guns at the lower part the bomber is taking hits but nowhere near enough not enough flak more flak is needed okay that's fine we know that version 2 needs more flak at least in this scenario there you go obviously bombs really really good just in general although they do have their downsides as you can see when they start to blow up then yeah the secondaries really start going there and 
we've t they've taken massive amounts of hits there. In terms of the ram, as you can see, it's uh, still going quite strong. We do have the Imperial Cannon, this huge cannon at the front there, as well as um, four standard cannon. Two flat going up there, bombs getting dropped on us, and we are chipping away at them. As you can see, there's huge holes in the bottom where the bomb bays are. So eventually there will be um, a nice little pop as um, part of this blows up, although I think that will happen probably after this. Uh, there's some more fire, and there's the extra explosion from the from the big cannon. So we've only got the three cannons going forward, which is why this stairwell that we put in here, look, is getting used right now, is um, mandatory. It looks like there's another secondary and um, tertiary explosions on there, and um, yeah, it looks like they have lost most of their stuff. Okay. So, that's technically got no way of going forward anymore. Looks like it's lost its suspendium chamber, or it's, at least it's not it's not swirling around. Engine's also gone. Maybe the coal's gone, the coal star on the top. And this one, as you can see, is still floating. It does have suspendium and coal, but it has no weapons. I do still have two weapons, so in reality, I would just sit there until one of us gives up, which is probably going to be this guy, because he's going to run out of something. Either way, we will leave that. So, immediately, I want to I wanna change things up. I want to go to... Building editor, open the design, let's just open that uh, turret once more. So what we need to do is, I think, want to go over to the, uh, probably the cannon, get rid of that cannon, get rid of that, move the flak along to there, we'll put another flak turret in, actually move that to there, move the flak turret along to there and there, so we have one more flak turret, we'll put that in the back and then we'll do that and then we'll have that in there, so only two guns pointed aft, which is something I didn't want, but what I could do to resolve this is get rid of that, move that back to there, get rid of these two and move them back to there, which sadly doesn't give me access the way I wanted it which is a problem, um, we'll do that, and then, now see, if I do that and move this back, you see, I'm losing access, but if I do that, and do that, then I do gain, no, I don't gain access there, because that hasn't got a bit to go up the top, has it? Oh, it does, it does, it can go up the top there, if we go up, into, if we go to pathing, yes, it does go that way, uh, whereas that doesn't, so that's fine, and then across there, all we do is we have weapons, and we go down to, where is it, rifles, uh, rifles flipped rather, one, two, three, and we have three rifles, there we go, uh, we can get access to that one only via, no we can't, we can't have, we don't have access to that one, which is not really a problem, quite frankly, I'll just not put one there, that's fine, we don't have any at the front, which is a bit of a shame, I would like some rifles at the front to uh, make this a little bit I don't know, just a little bit more DAC around the front would be nice, but we don't have that, so I don't think we'll lose any sleep over it. Put a strut in there because we can, and then we'll save the design. Not going to alter the version number because, quite frankly, it's I think it's only major changes, really. Well, I guess actually it is a major change, but anyway, let's try this again. Add the building, there's the turret, we're going to shove that in the back there, and we are going to verse once more. We'll say airship, we'll put in the bomber. There we are. Put the bomber in, and then we'll say land ship. We're not going to put, sorry, not land ship, airship. We're not going to put the, we're not going to put the other vessel in, because quite frankly, it's uh, yeah, not great. Although I've just overpointed this massively. They've got loads of points. In fact, that's probably that's even apparently. Okay, let's just try that one then. So we'll start that off. We'll go on to aim and fire. There's some shots going up. That one is going to hit the Hubble Space Telescope or something. I don't know what that was aiming for. Either way, this thing is coming towards us. As you can see, it's got a total of five guns on the front, cannons rather, and then also has a secondary explosion on our top. Apparently, the flat cannons do love to explode, they really do live to explode, it is coming straight towards me for whatever reason, actually I'll put this on rapid fire because I'm a moron, let me just change that and put it onto aim fire which is what the original intention was, there we go, actually getting some proper hits in there now, um, so yeah it's actually got about the same amount of weapons as I have although I've got better armour and uh, I also have a bigger gun so when it hits, oh yes it doesn't half it, yeah that's good, mm, that deserves a beverage sip, hmm. Oh, that is a very tasty beverage. Anyway, as you can see, it's going to now try and ram, which it successfully did, actually. It's taking something out, and I didn't lose anything. Sorry, it didn't lose anything. Although, um, the flak did hit it hard, and we are still hitting it with the rifles. Sorry, with the, uh, with the cannons, which we do have five left, plus the big one. It is now going to try and go over the top, which I think is a mistake, because we do still have the flak, and we also have the rifles on the back. Although, to be fair, to be fair, they have taken out the cannon. So, if they had managed to keep that in 
Oh, if we'd managed to keep it in, rather, we'd be all right. But we, well, we haven't. So it's just going to be able to sit there and pick us apart. Let me just go to uh, fastest speed possible, or rather, yeah, that fastest speed possible, and uh, just see what happens here. I don't think I can win this. Hmm, interesting. Although it is, the, the rifles are still doing stuff. We've got outside view. Yeah. Okay. Well, remember, it's not all about what you kill. It's about what you live through. Actually, I think that's a variation of what Rocky said. It's not about hard. To hit. It's not about hard, how hard you can hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep going, um, or something along those lines. Anyway, um, I still think this is not working. Okay, let's leave. Oh, hang on. That just changed things for the better. Uh, they've lost their suspendium chamber, and as you can see, they've they now only got three cannons. However, I've just got rifles, and um, yeah, two rifles versus three cannon. Not great. I'm going to go to rapid fire, quite honestly, because... Oh, victory. Looks like I did actually manage to destroy that. Okay, that was interesting. We'll go to combat once more, and we'll put it to rainy for some reason. We'll say, add a building, put the turret back on here, so we'll go right to the back, flip it around and put it there, and then we'll say, add, um, add airship, and we'll go to legacy, and we'll see what is about the same price. So it's 2,000... 2,500. There's a Squishington. That's not going to work. The AI won't be even work that one. That's Uge Flamington, which is just two huge flamers. Should we try that? Let's just start this one up here. So I've got immediately cannons going out. We're going to put it on aimed fire. It's coming straight towards us as uh, is to be expected there. Um, looks like they've taken hits there. They've actually got steel armor, although we are hitting them quite hard. And now the flame comes in. That's where it's really going to really going to do the number on us. We've got outside view, you can see, oh yeah, that's, uh, look at the damage it causes, loads of it, loads of it. Although, um, it's only firing now and again, and um, it's actually lost one of the guns, but just the sheer amount of damage it does is unbelievable. It's not setting us on fire, and the advantage obviously is that it's raining, so that does put out fires periodically there, but it is just carving away there. We've just lost the we just lost all control. Oh no, we've taken back control. That's fine. And uh, victory. Yeah, that's fine. That's that. That was quite an easy one. Okay, back over to combat there. We'll say a building. Same turret again. So we'll just put it about there. And we're going to put a couple of them in now because we might as well. We'll see what they're like in, um, in a trio. So they, I've got 8,000. So we'll say add land ship and our airship rather. We'll go for a couple of bombers probably. One and then two. The problem is I've min-maxed these bombers to be completely over the top. So they are very, very powerful. Add a land ship and there's a titan there, which uh, no. Actually, should we verse the titan? That could be an interesting thing, couldn't it? Have the titan there and... Ooh, they're overpointed. Uh, oh, that's near as damn it. There you go. Look at that. That's That was the wrong button. Uh, airship. Bomber. Bumpf. 8,034. 7,934. Yep, there's 100 in it. No, even less. There's 10 in it. No, 100 in it. Right. Um. Do we do that? There's not even that in it. I'm just, I'm just messing up. Um. I'm trying to think of something. Do we, do we really want to verse that? Uh, I don't know. Is this a fair fight? Let's just start up and see what happens. Okay. Got aim fire. I mean, there's, there was nothing much in it, so yeah. It's going to be as close as it's going to be. However, as you can see, because we've now got a massive concentration of flak, this thing is just getting shredded to bits. Look at that. Oh my good grief. That's just gone. That's just gone. Nothing left of the thing. So we are trading shots with the Titan. Quite successfully. There's the last of that bomber remaining. It's just been absolutely decimated. There's shots, shots whizzing out of that. That's even got flak on it, look. <laughs> there you go. It's taking hits. It's also dishing them out as well. Outside view, as you can see. This one's really taken the, the brunt of it. This thing does tend to break more than anything else. Um, actually, no, sorry. My mistake. Um, it seems to break more than other things, but it doesn't. Because um, these these things will... Hang on, hang on. That sounds like big things exploding. Yeah, it is. Looks like they've lost the main front section there. But a lot of their weapons are on the top bit there. Oh, they've lost half the mobility. Mm. Yeah, uh, as I was saying, 
it seems as if this blows up very easily and it's not entirely it's not really the case because it's got a big surface area so it does take a lot of hits but it's also got good, good health but um, the problem is that when shots are whizzing in and maybe hitting that and hitting that and hitting that and hitting that, you, you get slow damage across all of these parts. Whereas because they are more likely to hit this, you do get that damage stacking up and then it breaking. So it has something to do with this surface area. Uh, that thing is no longer mobile, as you can um, imagine. Now, basically, it's fort versus fort. And I think there is a game... <laughs> which is Fort v Fort. Well, there's many of them. In fact, one of them's called Forts, I believe. And there's another one called Redcon. I think it was a mobile game ported over to PC. And if it is the game I'm thinking of, um, it's a fantastic piece of kit. I've done a video on it before. I think it's Redcon. It's a great game. Either way, I think we've won this one. Just because of the sheer amount of guns. Look at that. Yeah. Don't know whether the Imperial Cannon's a good choice or not. I mean, we're winning. Uh, there's something to be said for that. Look at that. It is just a husk. <laughs> Good grief. Hmm. I don't know whether the... that's all right or not. Let's go to a storm. No, snow. Snow is quite nice. Okay. One more test. Building. Turret. One, two, three. And what would I fight them with? Yeah, that'll do her. Right, we'll start that up. So we have <laughs> um, a total of six bombers versus three of our defensive structures. Let's just see if this actually works. Because the sheer amount of bombs that's going to be dropped on us is uh, going to be quite unreal, actually. Although, they're not moving those. Because they don't want to stagger them. So they... Oh, look, there we go. There's bits of the uh, hull coming off. As you can see, when it's dropping, it's actually chiseling all the weapons off. So, I mean, the first couple are going to be sacrificial. But then after that, they're going to be able to just bomb us with impunity. Because we'll have lost most of our top weapons there. Although, saying that... Saying that, we still got a decent amount of flak left. No, we haven't. No, that's the, the, the real one's down with all but one of its flak. This one's got one left. That one's got none at all. Yeah, all it's going to do is disarm us. But they are coming low enough because the suspendium chamber is getting hit. And then they start dropping out the sky. And then, obviously, the secondary weapons start going. And they were getting hit on the way in. So they've lost a good couple of them now. In fact, they've lost... Um, yeah, there's the third one. So they've lost half of their forces. I've lost one of these defensive structures, although, to be fair, it does still have a couple of guns pointing forward, and, oh, that's another one there. So, yeah, they've got the three left back there, and they are bombing this back one, which, to be fair, it is the it is the right call, because this is the one with the uh, flak left, so if they take that one out, then it's sort of GG. So, oh, that's what we want. We want to take their suspendium chamber out, and then they want them to land on each other. That's the problem when you start stacking them up. There we go. They're coming out of the sky. <laughs> Oh, good grief. Um, looks like the back one is about to die, though. Um, and the only thing we have shooting these now is these two guns. Two cannons and two rifles at the back. Um, and they've got one, two, three uh, bombers. Actually, let's call it. Let's call it two and... Let's call it two and a third left, maybe. <laughs> um, yeah, sadly, they've won that. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. If we get a couple of lucky hits, then, you know, it would be okay. Obviously, that's the problem when you verse something like this, that, um, you know, when they stack up things like that, then that's going to happen. Okay, one more fight. They've won that. Let's go for... Okay, we're going to do it in the snow. We'll say building and the turrets. And overall, they're not too bad, though. One, two, three. I don't think they're too bad at all. Um, it might be best to actually stagger them like that, because then... I don't know. Um, do I want to put them right next to each other, or do I want to have them far away. Probably it's like that. I, I don't know. Not like that because anything that flies over the top. Yeah, okay. So we'll add the airships. So we're going to say the bomber once more and one, two, three of those. And then we'll say airship, bot fly, one, two, three. <laughs> and then finally airship. Um, we're not going to have the land because it's terrible. Uh, the generic carrier... 
Or maybe, yeah, we'll have a carrier as well, because we haven't been boarded yet. Um, 6,800, so we'll say airship and the Bombard version 2, put that in there. And they are massively over point, we're going to get rid of one of those. And again, near his damn it, so 8,034, 7,955, yep, that's okay, less than 100, is it? Uh, da, 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 yeah, fine. Start, okay, let's go. Yeah, we're up. So, obviously, the bot flyer is going to get in straight away because they've got grape shots. See the boarding? Look at that. The generic, the, uh, generic carrier is coming straight in, although it is flying, off, flying over a lot of flak. We are currently focusing on the bomber, though, which I think is the right call from the from the things here. They're trying to flank around the back, but doing that, they get hit a lot by the flak going on the top. So the generic carrier is on fire, and if, I, if memory serves, they don't have a way to put that out. So, yep, there we go. It's now broke, although it could start ramming now. Uh, it could start boarding, rather. Although, for whatever reason, it's not, and... <laughs> I'm going to pause it there because look what's happened here. So this thing, this thing broke, the suspendium chamber snapped in half and then this dropped. And as you can see, it's only just literally by one, two, two pixels. <laughs> two pixels hanging onto the uh, edge there so it hasn't fallen right down. And then, like a Tetris block, the bot fly broke and landed right in the front there. <laughs> That, that is two separate ships, but they've called welded themselves together. And then finally, the um, <laughs> the bomber has done the same thing. And click, we've got a match. There you go. Um, look at the state of that. Unbelievable. Actually, should we watch it in slow mo? <laughs> and that's carving down now. There you go. There's the shots whizzing out. You know what? The explosions are much better in slow-mo. <laughs> they look quite nice. You can see all the damage. Oh, there's the big ball of death. Let's see if this guy's going to get some balance into him. Here we go. Ah, oh, just disappeared. Ah, disappointing. Okay, so. Uh, that thing is... That was another bomber, and as you can see, it's uh, broke. We've got... Those breaking, yeah, that's fine. Um, people have asked many times to make a vessel that simply lands on something. Uh, you can do it. In fact, there is one, um, I think it was called the Squishington that we made many, many moons ago. And it was terrible in almost every way. It didn't work because when you say land, it will go down and it will try to land safely. The only way to do it is to use the ram and then actually ram down. It had two huge keels on it, you see. And... It sort of worked ramming down over, but it was very expensive and very slow, so, yeah. There's no way just to go up to the suspendium chamber and just, like, flick it off so it just drops out of the sky. I don't think there's a way of doing that. Anyway, it looks like they're getting shot at. Yeah, that's out. That's There's that out, and the bot fly right at the back there, which is... Well, we're just going to target it, quite frankly, because it's the only one that's left. And eventually, one thing will hit it, and it'll fall out the sky, and we'll call it done. Oh, there's fire, and there it goes. Yeah, that's it. So that should be a victory. Cool. And that is where we will leave it there. That has been a bit of Airships Conquer the Skies. The turret is not too bad, I don't think. Not too sure whether it's as good as the White Lookout, the one we've been and we've been having so much problems with in the campaign. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, let me know what you think is in terms of the design and changes to be made and stuff. The flak turrets do tend to explode the drop of a hat, and what I might do if I make a version 2, is make it a little bit wider, flatten it down a bit somehow, probably remove some guns off it, which will cheapen it up, and then put some safety struts up, so if anything does try to land on top of it, or it does break and then land, it's going to land on that. And I have done designs like that before, and it does seem to work. So, uh, yeah, we will see. I know people have also suggested designs where we pretty much just have a like a huge airstrip, where it's like sort of 10 or 12... 10 or 12 runways and planes on that and um, it does not really work because you can't control when the planes take off and things like that and also well you can't control the planes and also the uh, the price of them is just so expensive so mm, I don't know we'll, we'll see we might give it a go we'll see any suggestions for comments builds design suggestions etc put them in the comments and we will go from there as always hope you have enjoyed the video thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings <laughs>